touch my notes. notes. I, I need them to phone. pass the class. <laughs> Hold on. I'm doing a thing. I'm doing a thing. <laughs> Start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As always, we're your hosts. I'm Matt Schmidt. And I'm Colton Miller. And uh, on this week's episode, we have gameplay of Rayman Legends. <laughs> Classic game. Classic game. Classic. Uh, it's overlooked, I think. Tony's back with another creature feature. Yeah. 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 I like Tony. I like Tony too. But first, let's get into some news with our buddy uh, Jake. I like Jake. That. I like Jake. Video games are being pulled from Steam. Nintendo shakes its relationship with the YouTube community again, and an official trailer is out for a long-awaited title. I'm Jake, and this is your Press Start News Roundup. Nintendo and the YouTube community's relationship has been rocky to say the least. YouTubers who publish videos for Nintendo copyrighted content used to lose their advertising revenue to the company. To give some proceeds back to the creators of the videos, the Nintendo Creators Program was created back in 2015. Many members from YouTube were unsure of how much they could get from the program and how the program could change in the future. As of late, members of the program will no longer be able to use YouTube Live if they want to receive ad revenue from Nintendo copyrighted videos. The results in streamers needing to make separate channels to stream and causing more hassle in the two communities' relationship with each other. In more Nintendo news, the SNES Classic Edition is out now. The Classic Edition is a miniaturized version of the beloved 90s gaming console by Nintendo. It has quite a nostalgia feel while also modernizing enough to make it feel like an entirely brand new system. Coming packed with 21 games on the system, the console also features a rewind feature to take you back for if and when you fail so you can try again. All of this plus more for just $80 is practically a steal, and Nintendo plans to supply it into 2018. Shifting to some new game news, the official trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2 dropped this week. The game takes us on an adventure with Arthur Morgan and the Van Der Linde gang. Morgan and the gang must rob, fight, and steal their way across the vast and rugged heart of America in order to survive. It's set to release in spring of 2018 for both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Some serious news now, Valve removed nearly 200 games from Steam recently in what is to be the largest single day removal of games in PC gaming history. This mass removal and content stems from games created by Silicon Echo Studios. The studio was releasing fake games that could be gone for free or in bundles very cheaply, and then they could take the titles to collect Steam's virtual trading cards and sell them on the gray market. With this loophole in their systems, Valve's team has removed all titles from the studio and cut all ties with them. In a statement, Valve said, Spamming cloud games or manipulating our store tool isn't something we will tolerate. Our priority is helping players find games that they will enjoy playing. And that's all we got for this week, but as always, we want to know what you think. Are you going to get the SNES Classic? And what do you think about the new Red Dead Redemption trailer? Be sure to follow us on all our social media, at PressStartIUPTV, and let us know. Until next time, I'm Jake, and this has been your Press Start News Roundup. See ya. So anyway, my foot's stuck in the toilet. I got, there's like half a pie left, and I'm wearing three. I'm wearing three T-shirts right now. <laughs> Welcome back to Press Start. <laughs> that Red Dead trailer. Dude, I am counting down the days until that game comes out. I'll tell you what. A little disappointed it's not John Marston. Well, what can you do? What can you do? Can't have two games about the same character. Yeah, I guess you're right. I also missed my copy of the SNES. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Anyway. This week we have two groups of four people playing Rayman Legends. So let's, let's check that out. Yeah! yeah. All right, what's up everybody? We're, uh, we're here with Press Start playing Rayman Legends. I'm James and with me is Jared, Jamie, and Cameron. And we're gonna play some Mariachi Madness for you guys right now. A bit of a surprise at this level. If you guys catch on to what it is. All right, I like the tutorial. Is I'm this, already dead. Is this, oh, sand, nice. is this sand race game? Yeah, dude. We're, we're nice. get to start. I love this. Oh, ah. Wow. I'm a blue frog. Wait, what are we doing? I'm just running. Just run to the beat. We're just running? Just run to the beat. Oh, just run. 
Is this Guitar Hero? But well, okay. Oh, hi. What? What? Okay. What? Just pay attention See to the song. James, you're a hack. What the? James, <laughs> what is that? What is that? James, you've played this game before. Yeah, I have what, are you, this. what are you doing? I'm already dead. I'm yep, the best we're back. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> I think I'm dead. I don't know. I I'm... have no idea. I'm just hitting. Oh, it's it's the I'm Eye just... of the Tiger song. Oh, oh, okay. Do we come back to life? Yeah, I'm already dead. Eventually, I guess. Oh no, I'm I got even in by a centipede. Oh, thing. I do not know if this is actually copyrighted. I think about it. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's, it's 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 Hispanic. I think it's I'm okay. dead. It's fine. I think we're all dead. Yeah, I was alive for a second and then well, I got hit by some kind of a spike. I just, this is I just don't know what's the best happening. gameplay I've ever seen. I'm already dead. Oh, we are oh. so tiny. Wow, I can't see anything. Oh, I have a rocky bubble over there. Thanks. I'm the best oh. at this game, apparently. Cameron, you are the best at this game. Yeah. I'm dead. I don't know where I am. I've never played at this before. I'm tiny. I'm just just guessing. No, I'm just don't back jump in. on the spikes. Help me. I uh, just died. We can't even, I can't even see. I'm invincible. Seeing's not important. I'm dead again. <laughs> Jamie, you're invincible, all right. Invincible will be a trash. <laughs> don't trash talk to me, this is a family show. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, you're that's, right. That's I keep dying. Like words. Like you Jamie, know. you want to fight me RL? No, I don't want to fight you IRL. I'm dead again. That's a shame. I'm Dang. too busy floating in the air because I'm flying high. <laughs> 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 this is so tame. <laughs> No, I didn't know we started. I'm dead again. No, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm okay. Why did you think that was a good idea? What in the world? Um, for reasons. Also, that one. Why would you start, you start us so in the game? game about? Anyway, I don't yeah, get it. Oh, it's a platformer. It's a just, um, you just, uh, some evil uh, people stole the TNCs and you guys saved all the TNCs. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, bye. That was fun. You say bolt, you say bolt, you say bolt. Dang it. I hate myself. Oh, I'm still alive. It's okay. It's really hard to tell when you're alive with this. I know. I have no idea what's going on. There's so many bubbles on the screen. Except that I I'm know alive. I just I'm alive. I Dang know it. Jump and press oh square. wait, what? I could have helped. This is so bad. All right, all right, all right. Why are We're the good. We're good. There's a group of fun round. We should play soccer. I just want to be Glowbox. I'm Glowbox. <laughs> so I guess this is the next full day for me. I, I like that it sounds like a kazoo. Yeah. Probably because it is a kazoo. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, How did we die? That's, There's I mean, flies on the. There's flies on the. the uh, I called? died again. Bye. Just be better. I don't know. I, just be better. Just I got be, slightly grazed. That's the only time I can do be better. I'm dead again. Just get, Dang just it. Be good. Every time, get good, son. Still it's all you, dude. Don't got, die. I got Save us. dead again. What is that? How? Because I'm I the have, best. I have four points. No, I'm um, dead again. I don't know. I'm still the best. I'm dead again. I guess I'm also dead again. I got it. There we go. What? We did it, guys. This so I just learned it was how all amazing at this game. This is the worst mini game I've ever played. No, that was I, the best. I, I don't know what you're talking about. That's because you won. If pay attention. <laughs> okay, what do we play? Right. Uh, well, as I'm holding up my arms to Fiesta de los Muertos. What they just on that one? Oh, that's a sausage right there. We gotta go. Avoid the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the sausage. <laughs> Um, uh, I think I got the gimmick for this one, okay, like this set of levels, like because oh for the last one it seemed to be all like music based, or that might have been just been that one. Uh, we probably don't want to break that. Oh, crap! Hey, yeah, it's um, I'm good. I'm good at get a pat. Okay. All right, I got you. Crap. Oh, crap! Yeah. Ah. Yeah, love is a thing. Oh. So, <laughs> okay. for those, those who probably don't yeah, yeah, we probably no, don't want right, to break so lava, I feel like it kills I'm, people. I feel like Remember, everyone, lava kills people. Yeah. And I mean, that one's okay. kind of unavoidable. Yeah, well. But I'm just going to hang back. Ah, crap. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, fun, yeah, 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 yeah. I die. Hi, everybody. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Oops. Someone break me. Thank you. There we go. Why do I? Uh, oh, okay. okay. Oh. What, 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 How did he run past what, all of Is there a sprint button? Oh, there is a sprint button. What it, button it, is it? It's a trigger. It? It's the right trigger. Oh, Okay, whoops. wait, right trigger. Okay, run. Yeah, yeah just keep running. Oh, crap. <laughs> he offset my You jump. people are, oh, oh, darn. Okay, let's try this again. Crap. Jump, <laughs> yeah. punch things, jump. Okay, I died. I'll just keep jumping forward and, you know, avoiding such things. Ah, dang uh, it. 
We gotta get past this. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh boy, the struggle bus. The struggle is real. Oh shit. Run. Oh, we have the wall jump. Oh. Wait, shit. how? Has, we have the wall jump? Yeah, you have the wall jump as he's destroying the wall that you have to jump off of. That Jeez. is. That's rough. Uh. Run, my dudes, run! Forget about me! Oh, oh crap. Oh, no, no, no! Crap. Okay. Oh, oh. crap! No! Oh. oh, okay. Okay. At least we start from here. Yeah. Okay. 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 I misjudged so. the height of that. I feel like we should strategize, but. No. I feel like this game's too quick to know what strategy is. Here, someone can get up. Oh. Oh, I thought I had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something could get me here. Oh, you Darn. cheeky little... All right. <laughs> well, he's not little much. I mean, or no, the already... guy that blocked me at the uh, end. Here we are. Are these things ducks, or are they? Oh, dang it. How the heck did I get in front? Okay, never mind. There I go. Yeah, just... All right, guys, I think we have time for, like, one yeah, more. Let's one. play soccer. All right, yeah, let's play some we soccer, guys. Play soccer? Yeah, we're gonna play soccer. Uh, that's a shame. It's a shame. Okay, guess what? It's a shame night. Ooh. Oh, okay. oh, 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 This oh. is gonna be a... Oh, man. Hey, Jamie, guess what? I'm gonna what? make so many shots, you're gonna make none. What kind of shots? Oh, the best. This kind of shot. Uh, yeah, that was a good shot. Wow. Shot. Why are you on my team? Oh, well, oh. <laughs> wow, dude. Hey, 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 see that shot? shot? I totally meant to do that. I'm just kind of hanging Stop. out. I'm puppy guarding. Nah, nah. Wow, Jamie. This isn't gonna nah. Wow, dude, wow. I like all their shots you're making. There's a giant frog that keeps popping up in front of the goal. I don't like it. Uh, oh. Hi there. Oh. Uh. Here, protect, protect yeah, our house. house. I, I am. I am the under armor. Wait, wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was one goal. Oh, yeah. You'll never get past my cute little lizard guy. Yeah. James, we need to we yeah. need to like, do better. Yeah, no, we need to stop Jamie from being good. Wait, do you say Jamie? I'm just Jamie. bouncing. I do better? Oh, oh. Yeah, we got this. I ducked. No, hey, Jamie, what hey, Jamie, was it like to lose? We're just gonna stand. What do you All mean right. you like to lose? I think yeah. you like to lose. Here comes the thunder. Yeah. Like, it's like that match. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie, hey, Jamie. Oh, hey, Jamie, no. we're tied. Oh, no. We're tied, Jamie. Game. Jamie. <laughs> How was oh. that? Oh. Hey, Jamie, it's what we're winning. I think I figured out how to play the game, guys. I don't like this. This is not fun to me. I just not. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I haven't moved for like a solid minute. Wait, what character are you? I'm the blonde. Two creators of Raina. Oh, I'm, I'm very confused up. on who's on, who's on my team now. I don't know. It's me and James. What? Yeah, Jamie, you're winning. I feel like to go. <laughs> I mean, you, you joined the wrong team. It wasn't my team. I told you what? I called you from my team. Never mind. It's you fine. did, but you joined. You joined the no. other team. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm throwing the game. I'm what throwing is the happening? Match. Really, James? Oh, that's, you're that's throwing? Poor I thought right you were there. actually. I'm throwing I thought you'd lose it some dignity. Dig I'm just gonna start hitting people. Yeah, dignity. I'm throwing hands and getting red carded. Throwing hands. <laughs> no, Dang I don't. It. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's 13 to seven. We can beat them. Don't worry. Get him, mess him up. Catch these foot and hands. Oh, that was three seconds and not three minutes. I have learned. <laughs> Yay. I, I, I think Jamie's had enough of me for the next, like, two um, years. I'll see you three Fridays from now. Oh, I'm giving him cold. <laughs> so how about that gameplay, huh? That was pretty intense, uh, Rayman Legends action. Yeah, it's a really fun game, and I suggest you guys go out and try it. But uh, today we got a creature feature from Anthony. He's gonna uh, talk about Balverines from Fable. So, let's give it up for Anthony. Hello everyone, it's good to be back here on Press Start. My name is Anthony and welcome to an all new creature feature. With October around the corner, things are about to get spooky. What, you thought the last creature feature about Gygus was about as spooky as it got? Well, you're probably right. And I never want to mention Demon Space Fetus again. Ever. Traditionally, however, when one thinks of Halloween, they often think of vampires, mummies, witches, you know, conventional horror monsters. 
As much as I'd love to go off the uh, beaten path here and talk about vampires, today we're going to be talking about werewolves. Well, a certain type of werewolf, at least. Uh, introducing Balverines from the Fable games. Ah, Fable. What can I say about Fable that wasn't already said before? And better. A game with such an infamous development and release cycle that the behind-the-scenes work on the series is, ironically, an ASAP in of itself. A modern-day Boy Who Cried Wolf story in which one promises the whole world and ends up making himself into a certified meme. We know exactly what I'm about to go at here. Peter Molyneux. Now, for those not in the loop, during the development of Fable, designer Peter Molyneux got the bright idea that instead of actually working on the game, he would hype the game up to the point of labeling it as the best game ever, and game like no other. Back then, what would later become the first Fable was originally labeled as Project Ego. All right, children, take a guess at the word of the day. Here's a hint, it's irony. Peter had promised players a game in which the world and characters change in real time, a revenge system in which a child whose parents your character slaughtered would grow up and attempt to exact their revenge on you, having your character be replaced by their offspring as the playable character upon their death, and a whole bunch of other features even RPGs 13 years later haven't achieved yet. What players ended up with was a generic medieval action RPG with a morality system as the driving force behind the entire game, and perhaps even a series. Now, as someone who was fortunate enough to avoid the Molyneux hype train, I purchased each entry in the Fable series with no expectation, and was therefore one of the few people in the world not disappointed by them. Except Fable 3. Fable 3 was bad. And Fable the Journey. And Fable Heroes. Anyway, overall, I love the original Fable and the expanded re-release a year later, Fable the Lost Chapters, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, with everyone caught up to speed, let's dive right into one of the coolest enemies from the Fable games, Balverines. For lack of a better term, Balverines are glorified werewolves. These guys are fast, fierce, and they sport brown fur with yellow eyes. In some cases, if someone is bitten at midnight during the course of a full moon, they're turned into a Balverine, or a white Balverine, I should say, which is even more fast, fearsome, and strong than its brunette counterparts. They attack with swift swipes, they tackle the player, they can also jump off the screen, and then Im immediately, this brings suspense into the battle. You'll never know where they'll land and how close to you that they will be. If you read into the lore of Fable, you'll find that Balverines actually have a pretty unique history. Descended from a far more evil beast, the Balvorn, Balverines were created when the only man resilient enough to survive an encounter with one was infected and turned into the world's first lycanthropic menace. When a Balverine bites a human, that human eventually is turned into a Balverine, assuming they don't get eaten shortly afterwards. Humans who have turned into white Balverines are aware of their status as Balverines, and they can switch between a human and Balverine form. However, Balverines are always vicious and bloodthirsty. White Balverines look down on their dark-furred counterparts. Balverines in human form often use their status as a Balverine to their advantage, and they're therefore quite cunning. In fact, after Balverines were driven away by society's technological advancements, a group of elite Balverines created a short-lived order dedicated to overthrowing humanity and reverting the land back to its natural state. In the first Fable game, the hero of Oakvale, your character, encounters his first Balverine in Darkwood Forest. After fighting him off, uh, while escorting a few traitors to Oakvale, he is approached by a traitor who was bit by a Balverine. If the hero opts to take him along, the traitor will eventually turn into a Balverine and attack the hero and his fellow traitors. Later on, the hero finds the village of Knothole Glade under siege by a group of Balverines. After killing the beast, the hero is welcomed into the town. There he's tasked with killing a white Balverine, who was once a great hunter who got bit, killing the previous white Balverine that was terrorizing the town. The hunter's wife supplies the hero with a silver weapon augment. A, uh, a gem that can be placed into the hero's weapon to somehow magically give the weapon properties of silver, which Balverines are weak to. I should probably note here that the player character cannot be turned into a Balverine because screw the rules, I have plot armor. Balverines then become some sort of elite mook for the remainder of the game. They're a nuisance, sure, but they don't pose as much of a threat after players kill their first white Balverine. In the improved and expanded Fable of the Lost Chapters, players can encounter Frost Balverines in the Northern Wastes that hit harder, but their endurance are, is kind of lacking in comparison to the White Balverines. Now, you'd think that Peter would have learned his lesson about counting his chicken chasers before they've hatched after the backlash he received, breaking almost every promise he had made to the consumers during the development of the first game. And when Lionhead Studios began work on Fable 2, which was released four years after the first one, you'd think that, but, you know, considering that Molly knew 
is considered a meme lord to this day, and Fable 2 didn't unanimously dethrone Ocarina of Time as the greatest game of all time in most top 10 lists, what do you think really happened, hmm? After disowning the first Fable, Molyneux essentially then put on a witch doctor mask, told the masses, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, walla walla bang bang, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, walla walla bang bang. And then after his fans were good and confused, he duct taped the sign to the podium that said Fable 2 will be what Fable 1 wasn't, written in crayon, and then invented the dab just so he could dab off the stage. There are no breaks on the Molyneux hype train here, and unfortunately there aren't any insurance policies on it either, because upon Fable 2's release, you better believe that hype train crashed and burned. The Balverines in Fable 2 were a lot more annoying than tough enemies. Uh, the real reason that I ever lost all my health to one was because one, Peter thought that the actual armor in an action RPG was unnecessary, despite sending the game 500 years after a game in which armor was a necessity just to survive. And two, death no longer carried any real weight, and the only uh, penalty for death was experience points and uh, an experience point loss and a nice little scar on your character's body. But considering female models at the end game of Fable 2 look like knockoff She Hulks, I doubt players would be concerned about you know one little scar. A white Balverine will show off her ability to switch a, uh, into a human form to the player right before using it to lure them into a trap. In the See the Future DLC, uh, poison Balverines appear, which have a sickly green aura to them. If the player is hit, their vision is blurred and disoriented. Harder hitting uh, blood Balverines also appear in West Cliff in Fable 2. Uh, now Fable 3 is where Peter really dropped the ball. Weapons that change with the player's actions, a pause menu that is basically a glorified cave, um, a moral dilemma that forces players to either be a benevolent ruler who inadvertently dooms most of their population or being a ruler who promises the world and then has to go back on all their promises to be the good guy in order to save the ungrateful population who'd rather be dead than live in a subpar world. Uh, uh, Peter, did, did you, did you, did, did you basically just, did, did you just get sidetracked tra side halfway through Fable 3? and start making a video game adaptation of your autobiography? Oh. Oh, oh and uh, silver lining. Your character can now touch NB NPCs instead of just blowing them kisses and flexing their muscles and dancing like a loon. So I'll give it a D plus. Please see me after class, Peter. So anyways, Fable 3 has Balverines that want to attack a village. If you want to stockpile money to help save Albion, you can help a group of Balverines led by a man named Connor attack a village by destroying their silver nitrate lamps. Ooh, helping the enemy to face an even greater evil? Of course that kind of philosophical complexity has no place here. If actual morality dilemmas were prominent in any of the Fable games, where would there be space for the Monty Python-esque humor? You get the money anyways, even if you slaughter Connor and his band of fearsome furballs. And Fable the do I really have to talk about this game? Like, 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 can I just, okay, okay, I get it, I, but I really don't, <sighs> okay, I just, okay. But Monu said it wasn't an on the rail shooter for Connect, and it turned out to be an on the rail shooter for Connect. <sighs> Corrupt Balverines. They look like this. Happy now? Wonderful. Anyways, sorry about that. Now, you might have noticed that I've been going off on Peter Molyneux a lot when the main focus should be Balverines, right? Well, surprise, the real creature feature is Peter Molyneux himself. He's a vampire that sucks the blood of the gaming public and feeds on their disappointment. You thought this creature feature would be on Balverines, but it was he, Peter. This guy thinks he's some sort of indie game developer god ever since he left Lionhead Studios to die by Microsoft's diamond-encrusted hand. Peter still overhypes his indie projects. He likes to act like some tortured artist that nobody understands, but he's actually just another John Romero hyping up Daikatana after Daikatana. Microsoft only put up with his annex because he made black and white, and that was also an overhyped mess. Also, the next creature feature will be a serious vampire bit. So, Colton, I want you to take these. I want you to give them to my dad. Don't ask questions. Just, just do it. So that's about all the time we have this week. Uh, catch us next week when we probably play another game. I don't know what it'll be. Yeah, but hey. Out. But thanks for tuning in, folks.
The fact of the matter is, we recycle most things from leaves to aluminum. Then we have news mixed offers in plastic paper in the blue bins hanging from your trash basket. This not some we discussed, we did 108, 392 and surplus. We don't beat our chest cause we humble, but from here on out, that's a no-no. You're gonna be the loudest that you heard, how you be recycled's heard all the way in Pittsburgh. So as the people does the program go, we gonna kick it and drive like the indigo. The indigo, the indigo, the little bus that transit the campus, case you didn't know. Even in the automotive, we recycle used oils and barrels that you can't tote. They're too heavy, so don't try to pass you. You can tell by the look in my eyes. IUP recycles and promote it. There's nothing we could do if they choose to ignore it. We don't drive Mercedes, but we have been in every building throughout the campus for recycling. Our unsung custodial staff who picks up every day and throw them by the bag. Our grounds crew collect three times a week and haul it up the street to the center for the county. 2014 was a big deal. We diverted 200 tons from the landfill. That's in recycling products where our goal is to raise awareness and get the numbers up. If you want to know our estimated numbers by the pounds, calculated by the quarters, we're around 50,000. And we audit like twice a year just to get a gauge where we are from year to year. Gotta thank my AVP and the committee who sit around the table and ride or die with me. Both speak just to have a voice, not understand that recycling is a choice. It's not mandatory, so we thank you today for hearing our story. If you have a question that you have to ask, email or hit me from your 12 digit phone pad. We recycle here at IUP, so extra, extra, get the word on your team. We recycle here at IUP, so extra, extra, get the word on your team. We recycle here at IUP, so extra, extra, get the word on your team. When I was in high school, I didn't know where I wanted to go to college. But I did know I wanted a major with job potential and a campus that felt like the right place for me. I chose IUP. I'm studying on a beautiful campus with great professors who focus on student success and 140 academic majors. I'm Megan Spangler. I study nursing. Find your success at IUP. Students in Communications Media at Indiana University of Pennsylvania can focus on a variety of areas, including media promotions. Our promotion students learn their skills by working in a hands-on environment, gaining real-world experience. They learn how to use media to promote, produce, and manage events, and how media organizations operate. They create promotional campaigns and help clients pitch their services, products, and events. With excellent classes led by experienced teachers, the Communications Media Department at IUP is perfect for students interested in media promotions. <music>